Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a playlist UI inside of Roblox Studio. Shop our unlimited access bundle to get all current and future assets. Check it out with the first link down below. Alright guys, welcome back and um, as the intro explains, I'm going to show you guys how to make a playlist inside of Roblox Studio. Now hopefully uh, this video is going to be a bit quicker. All of the recent videos have been like 40 minutes long, so that's quite a long time. Uh, that's quite, you know, a lot of footage. Anyways, um, we are going to make this directly inside of Studio, so we're not going to use any Photoshop or any external uh, design software or anything like that. So yeah. Uh, very simple. Let's start with a screen GUI inside of starter GUI right here. So I'm just gonna call this player list. Very simple. We're gonna add a frame. We're going to call this one canvas. And essentially I'm going to uh, Roblox added this little update. All these docking areas just start popping up. Anyways, let's go for set uh, anchor, fit parent, and remove background. I'm just gonna hit scale, and right here for we're gonna make it. We're going to make a frame. We call this header. We go set anchor, and you're going to scale this size to anything you want. I would say like something like this looks pretty good. We're gonna go for a corner, like so. Uh, offset zero, scale for like 0.2. And I'm going to add a gradient. I'm going to go for rotation, negative 90 degrees. Okay, and um, oops. Okay, so for the color, you can go for a dark theme or light theme. Uh, I'm going to go for a dark theme for this example. I'm going to go for like a dark gray to a lighter shade, like so. And now I'm going to drop the uh, background transparency or we'll increase it technically to like 0 0.25 0 0.15 or so this will give us like a nice transparency effect uh, to our design here and I'm also going to add a stroke and increase the thickness like probably like 2 and change the color uh, to white I'm going to add a gradient inside of well, actually, let's copy our gradient, control C. I'm gonna go to our stroke. We're gonna control shift V to paste our gradient. And now if you take a look, we have uh, this very nice stroke alongside our uh, shape here. Now for the contents, we're gonna add a UI list layout, okay? We're gonna change the fill direction to horizontal. And we're we'll start adding some text. So let's go add a text label. We're gonna go set anchor, center, and uh, let's go for text scaled. It is right here. Let's remove the background and change the color. You can go for like white if you want, or like a you know, like a, a slight tint if you want, like so. Uh, let's go go for change the font uh, from source sans to Arial, uh, lower the size and go to your list layout and change the vertical alignment to center now here we type you can type things like for example your level right to start off boom looks really good and then we can copy control D this will be username, the name right here, and then we can add like, uh, for example, I'm trying to think, um, coins, or <laughs> let's go for like gems, and then here like wins, right, for example. So I think this is pretty, pretty nice for a, um, for a, <laughs> for a header. I actually want to extend this a little bit. I think it would look better. I go back here and change the uh, horizontal alignment to 
to center. And now you can see we have a very nice header section uh, for gems. I mean, you can even also add a gradient to you know, some of these text labels. If you get this one, um, this can make it more interesting. Um, some like I like those right here. I think I think it looks fine. All right, so next step is we're gonna take our header. We're gonna hit Control D to copy our header. Uh, we're gonna call this our list. We're going to drop or drag this down like so, and then we're gonna hit Control C and Control Shift V. And this will be our template. We're going to remove the list layout here and text and text. So control X. Uh, we're going to hide this list. So background off now for template, we're going to go set anchor. We're also going to move the show on, on this as well. So for template, we're going to add inside of list we're gonna add a new UI list layout and you will see why in a second um, if you hit control D you can see now this will make a copy for us and now you can add some padding so like point two for example and we can also change the contents so level five for example name codec gems like uh, 2k right wins 15 for example let me remove this and re uh, recopy now you can see we have a player list UI uh, we could move this down just a slight bit more so it kind of separates itself from the header as you can see with the spacing so so we could take both of these and also move these to the corner right over here I'm going to go to view and hide my view selector and now you can see we have a very beautiful uh, playlist UI um, what I suggest is to indicate uh, your own self your own player you can simply change the color uh, with the gradient so so for example you can make like a, you can make orange to indicate that this is indeed your character here and not you know just some other player right so like here something like this work just fine you can even change the name color so like this right here boom and that should be sufficient all right um i just want to bump up the padding a little bit more 0.25 that is great all right as you can see that is our playlist ui if this video had has helped you guys at all please make sure to drop a like down below also check out our store if you download any of our free assets or if you make a purchase that would be highly appreciated and that will also support us tremendously anyways i hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos coming soon with that being said i will see you guys next time